The Math Appreciation Society, or the MAS, is a student club at Tasmania State University. The MAS chapter at Tasmania State University is holding its annual election, and their four candidates running are Abel, Becca, Candace, and Daniel. We'll call them A, B, C, and D for short. Their preference schedule for the MAS officer election is given below. Determine the plurality winner of the election. The plurality winner is the candidate with the most first place votes. So candidate A has 14 first place votes. Candidate B has four first place votes. Candidate C has 10 votes here and one vote here. So that's 10 plus one or 11 first place votes. And lastly, candidate D has eight first place votes. So we can see that the candidate with the most first place votes is candidate A. Now we want to give a ranking of the candidates. So this is the candidate that was in first place, second place, third place, and fourth place for this plurality method. So A was in first place with 14 first place votes. Candidate C is next with 11 first place votes. Candidate D is third with eight first place votes. And lastly, candidate B with four first place votes. So our ranking is ACDB. Does the plurality winner have a majority of the first place votes? Why or why not? The answer here is no. A majority means that we need more than half. So the total number of voters is 14 plus 10 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1, which is 37. Majority means more than half of the total number of voters, and so we would need to take 37 divided by 2, and 37 divided by 2 gives us 18.5. And so the majority is we can't have a decimal, so we need to round that up. And so the majority would have to be 19. And so candidate A does not have the majority because candidate A only has 14 votes. So that is it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks.